batteries before we can start it. Ah. DB, been uh, a little bit of time since I turned this on. I don't even know. Let's see, okay, TV. That says the HDM one. Are we still on? The whole key is trying to get that little computer, my Nook, playing on this, and then also passing the audio through my Marantz so that it gets audio to all the speakers. And I'll st I still need to hook up my damn subwoofer. All right, so let's go to my on my These poor cables have been away for many, many years. Gotta get the cheaters on. What? All right, so. Nerd Day Part 2. I'm having a little trouble getting everything connected. The Morantz I haven't had online for over 10 years, so I don't know if it's something wrong or if it's just me. I'm going to guess this guy right here. Um, but it could also be because the TV didn't have the latest firmware. So everything's connected. I'm downloading the stuff now. And uh, all I'm going to have at first, just to make sure that everything's working with the TV, is just the Look at that, that beast down there. DVD, VCR. I can actually tape back and forth if I want. So I bought that back in the day. I don't even know if they make them still. I'm, I'm sure they do. And once we get this up, we're gonna of course have Eagle, Hell Freezes Over tour as the uh, first audio check, which will be amazing. So hopefully we'll get this up and running. Once that gets done, uh, and I can get some sound from just this to that, then we're gonna to try to go inside the Morant. But well, I'm probably gonna to have to call them because I don't I don't understand how or why or you know what's the connectivity issue that I got going on. But we'll figure that out. More to come. For the record, we never broke up, we just took a 14-year vacation. <laughs> Right. 
finally <laughs> play the notice there's no lights here that means none of the speakers are on that's because I told it to do DTS only so when the DVD <laughs> Consider the opportunities for the Empire. At last.